Hello everyone, Shaoling here. So today I want to talk about my impressions of gaming with a G-Sync and high refresh rate screen. Perhaps some of you have been looking to get a G-Sync screen or a high refresh rate monitor and are wondering what actual difference it's going to make tangibly for your gaming experience. As some of you know, my trusty old 60Hz monitor stopped working two months ago, I think, something like that. And I was forced to look at getting another screen. And of course, since I haven't been in the market for new screens for a fairly long time, since it's been seven years since I purchased my screen, I had a fair amount of research and reading to do before making my purchase. I finally settled on the Acer Predator 27 inch screen, which supports 144 Hz and G-Sync. Up until this point, I've been playing games with V-Sync on and triple buffering on in order to not get tearing. And up until this point as PC gamers, there weren't really a lot of options to be honest. Either you had V-Sync off, which would lead to tearing, which is horrid, or you'd have to have V-Sync on, which would unfortunately introduce a degree of input latency and in some cases micro stutter. And on top of that, if your graphics card wasn't able to maintain the 60 FPS, then the frame rate would kind of take a dive to half of what your refresh rate was unless you were running triple buffering, in which case it would be a little less, but it would nonetheless be present. My point is that tearing is horrid and VSync wasn't the best option out there, but it was the only one that we had. Now, this video is not meant to be a tech article on how exactly VSync works or why tearing occurs, but more importantly about my impressions of how the feeling of my gaming experience has changed since I purchased the screen. There are plenty of in-depth articles about all of these things on there, so if you guys are interested in doing so, you can just head over to Google and check some of them out. Keep in mind for me, though, that I thought 60 FPS was as smooth as it would be. And if I have to be entirely honest, I didn't really think there was any point in gaming at higher than 60 FPS because, well, 60 FPS was silky smooth. I'd read plenty of articles, people saying, oh, you know, gaming at higher than 60 is really smooth and much better than 60. And to my mind, I couldn't comprehend it, you know, uh, out of sight, out of mind, I suppose, right? You haven't experienced it, so you don't know what you're missing. And on top of that, it's also difficult to read articles and watch videos on YouTube because YouTube is limited to 60 FPS. And articles, of course, are just articles. And none of these things are really going to give you a good demonstration of the difference in feeling of your gaming at a higher frame rate. Um, unfortunately, I suppose this YouTube video is going to fall into that same category. I just hope that my explanations will help clear some things up for you guys. So I ended up taking the plunge. I suppose I could have just bought a high refresh rate screen, but then I thought to myself, you know, if I just buy a high refresh rate screen, I'm going to end up in the same situation that I ended up now, where I would have to enable VSync all over again. And of course, I, talk, I spoke about this earlier, input lag and blah, 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 and all that kind of thing. So I took the plunge. I got a screen with both VSync and a high refresh rate. I do want to say though that gaming on a 60 hertz screen with VSync off is still not going to give you a higher than 60 frame rate experience you need a screen that obviously supports a higher refresh rate in order to actually experience a higher frame rate i suppose it's pretty obvious but i thought i'd say it anyway so what i do want to say though uh, is that tearing on a 144 hertz screen is far less noticeable than it is on a 60 hertz screen for sure but i would say overall that is far less noticeable and in fact in some cases not noticeable at all when using a higher refresh rate screen. The thing is that normally tearing occurs when your frame rate is way higher than your refresh rate, but there have been many cases where my frame rate is below the refresh rate of my screen, uh, at least on my old screen, and I have noticed tearing as well. If you don't want to deal with any of that stuff, G-Sync allows your refresh rate to match the frame rate output of your graphics card. So irrelevant of what kind of frame fluctuation or frame variance you're getting, it's going to remain synced and you won't get any tearing. You won't have to put on vsync so you won't get any input lag or stuttering either the, apparently the other thing that g-sync does it also introduces a kind of motion blur at lower frame rates so that sub 50 fps feels noticeably smooth or less jerky than non-g-sync screens at the same frame rate however i do want to say though that a low frame rate is still a low frame rate so it's not like 30 fps will suddenly feel like 60 fps that's not going to happen but i will say that the latency and the perception of smoothness will be better than a non-G-Sync screen. Okay, so after some months with the screen, here are my impressions. The first thing I noticed after setting up my screen was how smooth it suddenly felt on my Windows desktop. Incredibly responsive and did I mention it was really smooth? I have two screens. And so my secondary screen is a 60 Hertz screen. And let me tell you that the difference is noticeable. 
when moving my mouse around or even dragging windows around on the screen. So I know for the first few minutes I was dragging windows left and right across both screens and I couldn't believe that I was seeing such a difference even on my Windows desktop. Obviously now I'm kind of used to it so it's you know I don't, I don't even think about it anymore. So the first thing I loaded was Doom and running around at 144 FPS I think I was almost speechless. I was really really surprised because as I said earlier I didn't expect there to be any kind of noticeable difference. I have to say that I don't think I've ever felt a game run so smoothly ever. It was incredibly responsive, it was incredibly fast. The difference isn't quite as marked I suppose going from 30 to 60 because the situation in that example you're going from what really isn't a smooth frame rate which is going to have some input lag and all kinds of other things to a 60 hertz frame rate which is fast and responsive enough. Um, the difference isn't quite as marked as that. I would say that the difference going from 60 to 110 is more noticeable than going from 110 to 144 for sure. But the difference is remarkable enough for me to say that I don't think I'd ever go back. In fact, I can say that if I'm playing a game now and it drops to 60, I can feel it. I can immediately notice it. It doesn't quite feel as silky smooth. It doesn't feel as fluid for sure. I suppose a comparison one could use is like, let's say you have an old PC, you're running games on low detail and you kind of used to getting 35 to maybe 45 frames a second. And then all of a sudden you buy a new PC, you're able to put everything on ultra and you can suddenly run without issue at 60 FPS with all the details on kind of thing. But until you experience thing that, first of all, you don't know what you're missing. But once you've experienced that, the chances of you wanting to go back you start to wonder, well, how did I actually manage to live without all of these settings on? So on top of that, the fact that you have a G-Sync screen is going to allow you to play the game at variable frame rates without ever having to worry about your hardware keeping up uh, with your refresh rates. So some games will be more demanding, of course, and the frame rate will range from, I suppose, maybe even 50 up to 100, and other games will be consistently over 100, but it will never really matter because you're never ever going to get any kind of tearing. Um, and even in the situations where the frame rate drops sub 40, sub 50, it's still going to feel smoother than a non G-Sync based screen. As I mentioned earlier, I tested a few games where the frame rate was sub 50. I used City Skylines when I did this particular test. Uh, there's a section of this a large city where the frame rate would drop to about 43 in the city center when I zoomed right in. And if I zoomed out and sort of backed slightly out of the city, it would go up to 120. So what I did was I disabled G-Sync and I set the refresh rate to 60 and put VSync on and I did the test of going between the two frame rates to see how smooth the transition was from a high frame rate to a low frame rate um, and also to see how the low frame rate felt smoothness wise and then I used it with VSync off and I did the same thing and then finally I turned G-Sync on and I unlocked the, the refresh rate 144 and I did the same test and what I can say for certain is that the transition between 120 frames to 43 frames was far smoother than the other two setups. And on top of that, what I can also say is that the 43 frames a second test was also far smoother when moving around within that 43 FPS range on the G-Sync screen. Once you've experienced gaming at a higher frame rate, the chances of going back are going to be pretty small as I used in my example earlier. Uh, provided that you have the hardware that can generate the kind of frame rates you want for high frame rate gaming. The high frame rate obviously has more benefits in certain types of games, especially first person shooters, I suppose less so in RTS games and those kinds of things, uh, even less so in turn based games. But I do want to say that the increase in smoothness is noticeable in absolutely every single game that I've played. Now I know there are some folks that prefer higher resolutions over high frame rate, but for me personally, I've always been about high and smooth frame rates and fast performance. And in closing, I want to say this. Since 144Hz screens or high refresh rate screens uh, with G-Sync are not cheap, this is probably one of the harder purchases I had to make deciding whether or not I was going to go with just the high refresh rate or getting just G-Sync. I'd say that if you are unsure, it might be worth trying to test out the high refresh rate screens slash G-Sync screens at a local retailer if you feel you want to actually feel the difference for yourself 
Unfortunately for me, that wasn't an option because there weren't any local retailers who stocked this particular screen or any type of screen like this. Uh, but some of you guys might have access to that option. The other thing I want to note is that if you do buy a G-Sync screen, you're going to be locked into NVIDIA cards since it's proprietary technology. Otherwise, you can choose the FreeSync option, which is AMD's alternative, but then you'll be locked to AMD cards. Um, I know there's a discussion about why FreeSync is cheaper. From what I've read, there are some differences between the two, but I'm not going to get into a discussion about that since I'm not an expert on this. There again are plenty of articles on the net if you guys do want to read up about that. In conclusion though, I'd say that if you are running high-end hardware and you want that really, really smooth gaming experience, you should at least consider a 144Hz plus screen. G-Sync, I would say is secondary. It's nice to have if you are willing to spend the extra cash, but it's not absolutely necessary. Anyways, I think that's about it. If you guys have any questions or comment about anything that I've talked about in this video, please let me know in the section below. I do hope that you enjoyed the video and that some of you at least got something out of it. Otherwise, I've been Charling. Until next time.